Now then, we're back in the workshop. And my friend Lee was here, I can't remember now, a week or two ago. And we were fixing all sorts of things. Or in this case, not fixing it, but finding out lots of things that uh, would be useful. And if we'd have known these to start with, then it wouldn't have turned out to be a disaster. So therefore, I'd like to pass that information on to you. And it's about aftermarket lithium-ion batteries. And in this case, it was for a Hitachi drill, but I suspect it's um, universal. So let's uh, get down onto the workbench and you'll see what I'm talking about. So here we are, and that's the make. Let's just get that right. There we go. Cree best. Yep. Yeah. 5 amp hour or 5000 milliamp hours. So there we go. Anyway, it had all the hallmarks of the things that I hate. Yep. Yeah. Was first of all, security screws down the bottom of a long tunnel so I had to get fierce with it and then of course it was the um, the three the Y shape uh, head and I didn't have one that would fit it in that close space so I belted a brad all into there and we undid them but I had to get violent with the case to start with so you know, you know what my view on security screws is. It secures the profits, nothing else. Now, the next thing was, normally these cells are just popped in there and they might be on a soft pad or something like this. But this time, they were glued in hard with something like Araldite. And as you can see here, I had to use extreme violence to get them out. Well, maybe it's not Araldite, but it's definitely something that gripped really hard and far too much of it. Yeah, designed not to come out. Yeah. So there was various sort of gruntings and the occasional shortings out of batteries and using of big levers and all that sort of thing. And breaking of cases. Anyway, we got it out. The problem with this battery was, Lee had bought it new, and uh, he'd used it once and then it packed up, just used once, so he got in touch with the supplier and they just give him a refund instantly. So you expect that they knew they were duff, or there was some fault. Yeah. Now. They're quite good batteries. They're LG 2.5 amp hour batteries. So they're not something that you would think, ah, well, they've only put um, 1.5 amp hour batteries in there or even 1 amp hour batteries in series parallel and claimed it's 5. They are actually 5 amp hour. And I'm going to zoom down on this just so that those who are interested can see what the number is. There you go. So at the time, Lee had a look on his smartphone and went, yeah, they're all right batteries. Okay, so that was that one. And having sort of ripped it all apart, and then we were doing that, um, battery chainsaw at the time. And so the, we took the thermistor off this to try it on that and all sorts of things. And it was only when we were experimenting further and I feel quite annoyed at myself for not focus, for not, right, okay, we're going to have to move the camera. Okay, I'm back with you now. 
So we were experimenting with the thermistor and all sorts of things. And what I discovered was, I was amazed that it wasn't actually hidden in the back. But there's a fusible link there. And it would blow, it had blown. So very much similar to that, um, there you go. Very much similar to that uh, Roberts radio where it had a, a hidden fuse, that fusible link is behind security screws. So who's going to um, dig into that apart from a few people who are very interested in trying to save things. So there you go. If you've got one of these replacement batteries and it just packs up, yeah, then try and remove the security screws or if it's a better quality battery, there's probably torque screws or something like that like on the Makitas and look out for a fusible link yeah and when I checked the voltage of these batteries they were all 3.9 volts so they're all good batteries and they're a useful size yeah and I had to get a bit violent with them to take them out but it was just the fusible link so if I'd have been paying attention but then I wasn't looking for this sort of thing, but now I do know yeah, that once you get it apart, have a look for the link. So the symptoms is it's working fine and then it stops and then it won't charge up. Yeah. So I'm just going to put another image of the cover if I can. So there you go. Yeah, and of course, it's made in the PRC. Hope this helps people out and to uh, stop chucking all these things away that are perfectly good but are designed to fail. Let's hear some comments from you all, and those who haven't, please subscribe, and I will catch up with you very soon, with another exciting instalment. Cheers for now.